you know, we just talked about with Viper the, the three games that are out now. Yeah. But we also got to consider next games for Alluvium. And um, there's been some, some leaks a little bit here and there recently. Uh, Aaron has gone on a couple things. And he, he continues to talk about this card game that could be associated with potentially with the Louvatars. Yep. Um, I think it's a great idea. I think, you know, you think about Magic the Gathering or like uh, even Pokemon cards or whatever. All the, those games had their place in, in those ecosystems. Yep. And, and in like the late 90s, early 2000s, they were actually huge. Like, yep. So I do think there is a place for a card game here. Um, but there's also other games that are going to be coming. So, like, what what have you heard about, like, next game potential? Yeah, well, so obviously one of the... You know, we talked about this in an episode uh, a while back, one of the earlier episodes, but they had a proposal for something called Alluvium Strike. Yep. Uh, so that was the, a first-person shooter. So I know that's something that they're, they're talking about. We hear, you know, Kieran every once in a while talk about uh, a kart racing game. Which I would love. I'd love that. I was yeah. always a huge Mario Kart guy. Like, yeah, that was my I think that would be great. Yeah. But um, back to what Aaron was saying, that I think that the card game for Aluvatars, he said, would be the next one that comes out, just because it's the mm-hmm. it's going to be the easiest one to build. Mm-hmm. So there's no timeline on that. They're definitely focused on getting the first three games perfect. Yeah. Um, but I think that fourth game is going to be that card game, mm-hmm. and then yeah, I mean, who knows after that? We get the first person shooter. We get the card game. They could go and do a platformer game, uh, you know, some turn-based strategy games. There's a game that I've played, I played for a little while before they actually shut the game down, was uh, Pokemon Duel. And I think Alluvium would, like, if they put their IP into a Pokemon Duel type game, that would be, I think that would be a great game. Great mobile game to, to add to the collection. To know which what's going to come next it's about the interoperable a- uh, assets that they're always talking about. Yep. How can they move the the land and the plants and the rocks and the alluvials to a new game? You know, something that's already integrated. Like, if you think about getting into a cart game, they need to make new carts for every alluvial. It's like, it's going to take a little bit more. Even though a cart game seems like it'd be simple, it's going to take more time than even, like, a first-person shooter where... They, they already have, you know, Arlen out there, the Rangers out there that can shoot these guns. Mm-hmm. So that even that might be a simpler one to get out earlier. But, yeah, there, there are so many possibilities. They've talked about having nine. I honestly don't know why they picked that number nine because once they get to nine, I don't think they're going to stop. No, yeah, they'll you know? keep going. And the interoperability is everything. Like, yeah. they've talked about it before how each alluvial is going to have, like, this number tied to them from the very beginning. And that number gives them different traits in different games. Yeah. Even games that aren't even built, there it's just going to be. They'll just have it in the code where it's going to be able to be carried on to each game. And you know yep. what? You know what? Another game that I think I I've always liked, um, which would be great for mobile, is those tower defense games. Oh uh, yeah, I'm, they I'm have a big talked fan about of that. I've heard that too. So yeah. like, I'm just thinking like you have a plot in Crimson Waste or whatever. And you start putting the alluvials down, like maybe you have like a Ramphy shooting fire at whatever's going yeah. going by. Like, I think that would be cool. And like using the Ramphy you caught in the overworld to then place it into the, t- the tower defense game, mm-hmm. that kind of thing like excites me. Like, I I do really like tower defense games, so I think that would be cool. Yeah. But then like you know you throw the ra- same Ramphy in the car racing game, you throw it. In- oh, so like the interoperability of it all. Yeah. It just you think about like Super Mario Brothers, right? And you, you can't play Mario 64 and Mario Kart and have, like, the, the stuff that you've gotten in 64, the, yep. the overworld, essentially, of Super mm-hmm. Mario. You can't bring that into Mario Kart. So, yeah, that that is going to be such a game changer yeah. in this space. And I think it's going to just, like, uh, the other, like, traditional companies are going to have to catch up. Yeah. What, what I'd really love to see is third-party gaming studios having a partnership with Alluvium to use their IIPs, or to use their, sorry, to use their IP, um, to make more games. Like, a tower defense game doesn't have to be made by Alluvium. You could have another third-person oh, yeah. studio um, yeah. come in, partner with Alluvium to make that game. And then you can really just expand things out, just like like Pokemon. Like, every game that involves Pokemon is not made by the Pokemon company, mm-hmm. you know, they, 
they give out or they you know have a partnership for their IP to be used with other companies. And that's how there's so many different Pokemon games out there. That's a good point. Um, and they just have to make it to like the specifications that Alluvium wants. Yeah, exactly. But, they, they would come yeah. up with a partnership, an agreement, say like, this is... You know, this is how you're gonna, how we can incorporate the NFTs into your game. This is the standard that we wanted at. Yep. This would be, you know, the kind of split of revenue, whatever it is. But once you open it up like that, the possibilities are endless. You don't need to worry about the Alluvium team waiting for the fourth game and waiting for the fifth game. You could have multiple studios working on multiple games at the same time. The collaboration is real. Yeah, work smarter, not harder. That's yeah. definitely. Definitely true. That's a good point. I hadn't thought about that before. Yeah. In I actually did ask Kieran this in the interview I had with him uh, a few months back, and he said it is possible. Mm -hmm. Um, that's not something that's you know taken off the table. Yeah. If, We're still if a so studio, early. yeah, if a studio comes to them with like a good proposal, that's something that they would consider. Yeah. The possibilities really are endless. We're so early in the yeah. blockchain journey. Not just the Alluvium journey, but just the Web3 blockchain journey. There's so much that we, we could never even imagine at this point that's going to happen. If I were to have like a stretch, like this is what I really want for Alluvium, it would be a game like Super Smash Bros. Before like I got into Web3, Super Smash Bros. was my favorite game ever. Yep. Um, and I, I can see it, it would be tough to have... 150 or 200, 300 different yeah. alluvials doing... Well, you're, well, Super Smash Bros., they don't have every character. And, you know, yeah, they, they so, pick and choose. So that that would be how it would be. Yeah. So, so that's why I, I don't think it's a, a realistic you know thing right now. Yeah. But I think a game like that could happen in the future. And it would, it would just be so much fun. And actually the adventure kind of part of Super Smash where you can go through the waves. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Uh, maybe they're... Maybe that's where you can incorporate more of the alluvials, where you get like a wave of like um, Atlas all coming at you, you yeah, know, or some who knows. Like I like how they did that too in in Super Smash. So I I hadn't even thought about Super Smash for, yeah. for an alluvium related game, but yeah. And, and the yeah. other thing that I was thinking that would make it a little easier is that if you've played some of the previous games, they have the Pokemon Trainer, where you can actually switch between like three different Pokemon and it counts as one character. Um, but also, all of these alluvials, at least up to this point, I know there's one mythical alluvial that we're going to have to figure out what's going on with that. Mm -hmm. But they all have three stages. So you could just have one character for all three stages. Oh, yeah. You know? Just, yeah, the evolve. So if you, whether you own the NFT of a Ram Fee, a Ram Fight, or what's the middle one? What's Ram the second? Fight. Okay, yeah. Ram Fight or a Ram Fire, then you'll be able to use this one character. So that yeah. cuts it down by you know, two thirds. So that might make things a little easier. Um, but I think that's just a top game out there. It, it should be in, incorporated somehow at some point. Yeah. There's so many options there. Like there the, really is. The, like I said before, but the possibilities are endless. 